Today's video sponsor is GGG Mall, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So I just released some hours ago this video that you're seeing in the screen where AMD actually admits that their drivers under certain circumstances can actually break your Windows installation. And now it seems like this is kind of a driver bug days or something, like some pr big promotion of driver bugs because Nvidia has some really nasty ones being the mo the nastier one actually, not the most nasty, the nastier one, actually this one, where the NVIDIA drivers are at least a container application or something like that, can actually make your CPU usage go up to 15% while doing exactly nothing after closing a game. So basically you're playing with your NVIDIA GPU, hours doesn't really matter, a minute doesn't really matter, there is a possibility that you can actually close your game, go to your desktop and when idling that same application, the container or something like that, will actually go up to 15% of your CPU usage, um, I guess it depends on the CPU of course, uh, actually consuming more power on idle and whenever you go back into a game you'll have less FPS because that container app is actually using 15% of your CPU or at least 10% of your CPU. So. That's a bummer, but obviously this isn't as bad, not near as bad as having a corrupted Windows installation, obviously. That's not even near as bad, but it's still bad because you'll have less performance, the power draw in idle will be much higher, which may actually be kind of worse for laptops, for example, where the, the power draw actually matters, that's just an example. And Tom Warren, which is the, um, the Verge editor, one of the Verge editors, or the Verge editor, I don't really know, says, if you're noticing high CPU usage from NVIDIA's latest drivers, the 531.18, you're not alone. Seems to be a bug with the latest drivers where NVIDIA container uses over 10% of your CPU after logon or after closing games. Rolling back to previous drivers will fix it. So once again it is even worse than I thought, it's not just after closing the games, it may be actually after you just turn on your computer. There are fixes for this, of course, one of the fixes is actually using the older drivers. The second fix may be, for example, force closing on the task manager the container app, done, but maybe after you just go into another game and, uh, and just close the game again, it may happen, so it's not optimal, using the older drivers is a better option as for now. And you also have uh, an option of removing a DLL file, I believe, when installing the... Um, yes when installing the, the driver, so you remove a DLL file from the installation folder, it won't install um, those container apps or something like that, um, and it won't cause the issue. So it seems it is a little harder to do, or at least not harder, but maybe, maybe a complication in the future may cause some issues as well, so not advisable, but maybe worth a try. At least, in my opinion, I just advise you to use the, the, the older drivers, because there's no such issue there. And if you are or were one of those people that says all the time, you don't have, you don't want problems, you don't want problems with your AMD GPUs, just get an NVIDIA one. Stop being an idiot. Stop being an idiot and stop being a fanboy. All brands, all brands have software issues. All. There's not a single brand that didn't have a software issue or doesn't have a software issue because they all do. Historically, NVIDIA has been having way more rock solid drivers than AMD, of course. In the past few years, AMD actually catched up in terms of driver stability, but in the latest drivers, they have been going downhill once again, uh, with Nvidia usually having a bit higher stability, okay? And being better in terms of VR and so on. Uh, but Nvidia still has a lot of issues, mostly on the newer drivers. This, the container one is not just that, so there's a lot more. Want an example? Toggling HDR on or off in-game causes game stability issues, blah blah blah. Monitor may briefly flicker or waking up from sleep, blah blah blah. Halo Wars 2 in-game foliage is larger than normal and displays constant flickering once again. GeForce RTX 4090 Watch Dogs 2 may display flickering at, um, when staring at the sky, so once again, more flickering. 
increase in DPC latency observed in latency mon. Another issue, now this issue of the higher CPU usage from NVIDIA container, for notebooks, random bug check may be observed on certain laptops, once again. Although Premiere Pro may crash when using NV CUDA 64 and Assassin's Creed Origins may randomly crash with recent drivers. So as you see, there's a lot of issues on the NVIDIA side as well. Not game breaking like having once again a Windows installation corrupted, but still very very annoying and I mean, they're there. If you think that NVIDIA doesn't have driver issues and for some people really annoying driver issues, you're wrong and once again, you're either naive or an idiot. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to kind of offend you guys because I really love you guys and I try to help you the most I can, but I'm just... It's kind of an attention call for you guys to understand that all brands, once again, all brands have issues. Uh, Intel has a lot of issues, but Intel actually kind of has a... Well, it's their first generation, so we kind of understand. As for Nvidia and AMD, they kind of have lots of issues currently on the, on the current drivers. Um, so currently on the current drivers. Um, but that's what it is, it seems that you buy a product for thousands or hundreds of euros and it just comes with problems after problems, even when you put newer drivers on it, it will maybe fix one problem, but just get another. It's how things have been for ages and it's how things will keep being for ages as well, so... It is what it is. You can try to minimize things by actually doing, once again, like I told you all the time, a clean installation of the drivers, installing chipset drivers, having good cables, good display cables and so on to kind of try to mitigate flickering and so on. Uh, but to a certain extent, you'll also you'll always have one problem here or one problem there, okay? It might not apply to you because some problems apply to just a few percentage of users, um, but they will certainly ap apply for someone like this driver, like this container driver that just applies to a, a small percentage of users, or the problem that AMD actually had with corrupted Windows, uh, Windows installation that did not affect all users, affected like 20% of users, which is a lot actually and shouldn't happen like I said on the previous video, but what I mean with this, once again, all brands have issues and instead of fighting each other we should actually come together as a community and try to help each other uh, for us to grow, for brands to actually grow some notion and try to, to actually test things properly before sending them to the market. That's what I believe we should do but that, that's an utopia I guess, <laughs> I guess. Thanks for watching and once again if you're having problems with the newest NVIDIA drivers just revert to the, to the previous ones or just go to the video cards article with a link in the description, okay, and maybe possi possibly uh, in the pinned comment as well. Just go there and you have that DLL sol solution that you can actually use uh, before installing the NVIDIA driver, so that's a thing as well, I guess. Thanks a lot for watching and also leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what you think about these drivers, <laughs> I don't know how, why I'm doing this, just leave a comment in the comment section uh, with your experience about these drivers and if you're actually having these issues with the NVIDIA drivers or not. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one.